How often do you find yourself manually creating HubSpot contacts or opening new tabs and copy pasting information to HubSpot and from HubSpot? If the answer is anything but never, then you're missing out on tons of time savers. In today's video, I'm going to show you seven incredible HubSpot marketplace apps that will automate your day-to-day -day manual work. The best part is that most of them, or all of them, are actually free, and unfortunately not many people know about them. Until today, because I'm about to change that forever. Let's go. But first, what are marketplace apps and where do you find them? I'm glad you asked. You can click on this icon over here and click on App Marketplace and choose from tons of different apps. They allow data to flow from HubSpot to other apps such as Gmail and back and forth. So the data exchange can happen. The first app on the list is the Gmail integration. It allows you to use HubSpot templates inside Gmail and track emails when somebody opens them, for example. Let me show you how to set it up. Here we are on the integration page. And as I promised, there are only 10,000 installs. Can you imagine? There are millions of users that use HubSpot and only 10,000 people use this integration, which is awesome. Let's click on install to try it out. This requires you to install the browser extension. I'm going to add it to Chrome. And here inside Gmail, we have two options. They are limited features and all features. I'm going to do all features, agree to the terms, authenticate, and boom, our account is now connected. And let me show you what Gmail integration can do. Let's click on compose. And here we have some additional features that were automatically added. I'm going to add the recipient, myself as an email, and this bar comes from the HubSpot extension. I can click on templates. They automatically get pulled from my HubSpot templates. Let's pick YouTube template over there. And just like this, it figured out what my name is and filled out all of the other fields. Took me one click, pretty nice. I can also insert potential meeting times with one click, insert proposed times, for example, for that in a Google Calendar integration. But I think the coolest thing is this. You can also enroll a person into a sequence so that following emails come through automatically. There's some documents that you can just drop there with a click. And honestly, my favorite feature is this. It's tracking emails. So what you want to do is you want to, uh, for your personal emails or for the emails you don't want to show up in your CRM, you make sure that they're not logged over there. Okay. For this one, I'm going to keep the box checked and tracking emails is awesome. You know how many times people have seen your email, etc. So let's go ahead and send this email and see what happens. Let's click on send email, find this email. And here, as you can see, I have the company that I can pull up. And if I click on this HubSpot icon over there, I have the information being pulled from HubSpot directly. Let's open this record in CRM. And here under the activities, this email was logged. I didn't need to do anything. This was automatic. And check this out. I opened this email in my other email client and this email opening was tracked. Pretty neat, didn't have to do any work and all of the information was saved automatically. Marketplace app number two is LinkedIn. Obviously, we're doing sales here, right? If you go to Marketplace apps and type in LinkedIn, for example, you will not see the ability of adding contacts to your HubSpot CRM, but instead you'll see LinkedIn ads, for example, which is not all that useful. Uh, you'll be able to manage the social calendar, not what I'm here for. And the magical tool is the LinkedIn Sales Navigator. So this app, if you scroll all the way down, shows the subscription, how much it costs for you to use the app from the LinkedIn side of things. Uh, from HubSpot, it's free. From LinkedIn, it costs you $125 to, to use and Frankly, it's honestly a little too expensive. You can save individual people as leads, for example, and LinkedIn will provide their email addresses. But I want to show you an amazing alternative, and that's using a workflow automation tool called Perkeen. Let's go ahead and try it out. Here we have a LinkedIn profile of Dermesh. He is kind of a rock star in the HubSpot and the builder creator world. So I want to add him to my CRM, obviously, in HubSpot. The link to this automation is down in the description. So do go there and try it out because it takes just one click to run. Here I have the Bardeen Chrome extension installed. And this automation is called Save LinkedIn Profile and Company to HubSpot. As I promised, one click, boom. Okay, and there we have the data, the company and the contact were created with one click. It's amazing and it's free. App number three is Google Sheets. 
And let's be realistic, HubSpot is amazing. It has this all-in-one suit that has marketing, sales, website building, landing pages, forms, you name it. But the good old spreadsheet, that's irreplaceable. Sometimes you just want a good old simple spreadsheet. So this integration is going to pull data from HubSpot and automatically create new rows in spreadsheets. Let me show you how to set it up. I've already installed the app. You can click on View Setup Guide over here. It's pretty long, to be completely honest. And before showing you how to actually create a workflow, I'm going to scroll down a little bit and show you this like shared data. So what happens here is that data only flows one way. You create a workflow inside HubSpot and the data gets added to Google Sheets. I'll show you a walk around, but first let's go ahead and try to use uh, their solution the way it was designed, 2.6 stars. I know it's not the best, but you'll learn how to make the most out of it. Go to automations and create the workflow. Let's create the workflow from scratch. We're going to create a blank workflow, click on next. And there are two things here. There's a trigger and there's an action. The trigger is going to start out the automation and the action is going to make changes to our spreadsheet. I'm going to click on setup trigger. And then there are two options, when filter criteria is met or when an event occurs. I want that. And here we have different options, ads, calls, CRM, email. I'm going to go for edit to a list and pick this list, contacts dummy. Click on save, very important, click on save. I've made this mistake multiple times already. And finally, let's add this information. So when a person is added to a list, we're going to add the information about the person to our Google Sheet. So I'm going to scroll all the way down to find Google Sheets. There are two actions, create a Google Sheet row and update data in a Google Sheet. I'm going to create a new row, select the spreadsheet that I've just created. It's called HubSpot Data. Pick the Sheet tab. And here is where a very confusing part is going to happen. It's called Field Mapping. So essentially what you need to do is you need to map the column names to the appropriate fields inside HubSpot. So for the header, this is the column name. I'm going to pick this first one, first name, and then find the property inside HubSpot. And as you can see, there are tons and tons of different properties. Good luck finding yours. That's why probably the app has just 2.6 stars. I'm just going to type in first name and do the same for the rest of the fields, last name. Okay, there we have it. Let's click on save. Let's name this workflow, list of sheets, save. Click on review and publish. Turn on the automation and let's go ahead and try it out. Let's go to our contacts. I'm going to pick their mesh over here. And on the right side, I have lists. Click on manage, add to list, contacts dummy. Okay, so this workflow should have been triggered. Let's go back to our spreadsheet and boom, the information is there. It only took like 10 minutes, the uncut version. Now here's the cool part. Let me show you how to do this exact same workflow literally with a few clicks and you can make data flow both ways. Check this out. This Bardina automation is going to export all of the contacts from HubSpot with one click to Google Sheets. Check this out. I'm going to click on pin it. So this automation was saved to my playbooks and I'm going to go ahead and run this. I will need to pick a Google Sheet to save the information too. The cool thing, I don't need to create a Google spreadsheet manually. I can just use a nested action, create a Google sheet with name, call it all contacts, and just run this automation. Boom, that easy, let's click on view. And there we have all of the data right there. And by the way, do you remember how information could only flow one way using the native marketplace app? Well, with Bardeen, you can make data flow to HubSpot as well. For that, we'll need to create a workflow very similar to HubSpot's workflow, but a lot easier. Let me show you how to set it up. So click on Bardeen, click on Create, and here on the left-hand side, you have a bunch of different apps. You'll need to integrate Google Sheets, which I already have integrated. Let's scroll down, and there is a trigger action called when a row is added to Google Sheet. Let's pick our existing Google Sheet called All Contacts. Pick the tab, okay. That trigger is done. And now let's add the action, new action. Let's select HubSpot, create a new contact. And then we're going to map the data. Remember field mapping, map the data coming from Google Sheets to this create HubSpot contact action. It's way simpler, check this out. So we have this field already pre-filled out. First name, let's insert data coming from the previous action. And here I have access to all of the column names. We have name over here and there's email. 
phone number, list membership, company, you name it. I'm just going to leave it as is, click on done, click on done again, name this automation, sheets to HubSpot, okay? And let's enable this automation. Finally, let's go ahead and test it out. Let's add a new row. I'm going to create a row for Steve Jobs, add a phone number, an email, company website, and that's it. That's all you need to do. Now we can go back to HubSpot. And now when we go to contacts, here we have Steve Jobs from Apple Edit. Tool number four is ChatGPT. It's one of the coolest apps that can save you tons of time writing emails, summarizing tickets, etc. But the unfortunate thing is that most apps or all apps I've tried inside the HubSpot marketplace are in development or just purely do not work. Here's a ChatGPT app with 500 installs. Let's try it out. Pretty long instructions, obviously. Let's integrate the account. Let's give it a shot. Open GPT. Let's try right response to the last email. And it's shit. As you probably guessed, let's use Bardeem to fix it. This time to show you the capabilities of OpenAI and HubSpot integration, I'm going to go to Playbooks catalog over here and select these apps to see what automations are available. Okay, it looks like there is one that will generate a response to a HubSpot ticket. Let's pin it. Let's see how this automation works. I'm going to click on open in the builder and there are two actions. The first one is going to grab the ticket, which it's going to ask us to specify every time we run this automation. And then we're going to be using this chat GPT action uh, using this custom prompt, create a response to a support ticket. By the way, you can edit it to customize the prompt, which is super cool. And then we're feeding data about the HubSpot ticket to this model using 0.5 temperature. So it's going to be slightly creative and the GPT-4 model. So click on done, done again, and let's try running it. Here I have a collaboration proposal ticket over there. And all I'm going to do is open up Redeem, click on this automation, pick this ticket, and run this automation. And let's watch a magical response appear on the screen. And that's what I call ChatGPT for HubSpot. App number five is Google Calendar, and it's a must have if you're using the native HubSpot scheduling tool so that you do not double book any meetings. I already have it integrated, and let me show you how it works. Here we have a contact. Let's look on meetings, do a demo meeting in five minutes make it an hour long meeting. For the location, it's going to be a phone call. Let's click on save. And just like this, a meeting was scheduled. So if we go to our Google Calendar, there we have it. Pretty simple, right? But now if I have an event in my Google Calendar, for example, at 9.15, then when I go back to our calendar and try to schedule a meeting for that time, I see the data so I cannot double book. Scheduling meetings is usually not that big of an inconvenience, but opening up new tabs, copy pasting links is clearly suboptimal. Since we're on it, let's explore Zoom or Google Meet. I'm going to install Zoom app over here. Okay, and now let's go back to our contact, click on meetings under locations. We can select Zoom, save this meeting, and a Zoom link was automatically generated. App number seven is Bardeen. Well, you already know everything to know about it. Links to all of the automations that you've seen in this video are down in the description. So go ahead and try them out and let me know what you think about these apps and the automations down in the comments. If you want to learn a little bit more about what you can do with HubSpot and Bardeen, I have a dedicated video about that. Click on this card to watch it next.